on Safety Shield 360. <laughs> this is all around protection. This is Nissan Intelligent Mobility. Save up to 4000 on the 2019 Rogue or get 0% financing for 36 months on Altima. He's hurt, and I can tell you now that he's, he's very upset. Um, he wants to be out there with his teammates. A last-minute change in the lineup. The Nats trying to make it a fight to the finish. After ace pitcher Max Scherzer is ruled out for the game, but fans are keeping the faith. Now, ABC 7 News at 11, on your side. Taking a live look outside Nats Park where tonight it is jam-packed with anxious fans. The series is tied and the Nats need a win to keep hope alive. Right now the Nats are trailing, but there's still a few outs left and the series is far from over. ABC 7 is your World Series headquarters. We have live team coverage for you tonight from the excited fans and the ex extra security checks to a breakdown of how the team is playing so far. We begin with our Jonathan Elias and Robert Burden, and guys, not a lot of highlights, but you can hear those screaming fans loud and clear. Yeah, and you know, you can hear them even clearer because now they're leaving the park <laughs> and they're heading home and they're not happy. In fact, even the president has already yeah. left the park. Yeah, I know, and, and I don't think I have to say this, but I, the biggest difference tonight was not having Max Scherzer, your ace on the mound. Huge. Big news, everyone found out when they went to the... Twitter almost broke when they found out that Max Scherzer was not going to pitch. By the way, let's take a look at this full screen. We'll give you an update on what the game is looking like right now. It's 5-1. to one. Last last time we were on the air at 10 o'clock, was 4 nothing. The Nationals actually on the board this time because... Soto hit a home run. Soto hit a home run. A highlight. The, the childish Gambino, he hit a home run. You know, 21 years old, hitting home runs in the World Series. However, it's not enough. You got to hit more. Uh, and by the way, going back to Max Scherzer, uh, he was the guy you wanted on the mound yeah. today, clearly. I well, mean, we're talking about a Cy Young Award winner in the AL and the NL. That's who you want when you talk about big games like this. Joe Ross, credit to him. He did step out there and give it his all today. Scherzer is such an intimidating presence on the mound. The Astros knew they were going up against the guy they've already lost to. Exactly. And to hear about an hour or two prior to game time that he was being pulled, pulling himself out of the game, which yeah. obviously frustrates an athlete like that, especially a competitor like that. Yeah. And then they're putting in Ross. We're talking about a guy who, when he woke up this morning, he couldn't even put his shirt on. Ouch. He couldn't even put it, barely got out of the bed. He had, his wife had to put his shirt on for him. Well, again, and here's what we were saying earlier, and I think this is true. If these two teams continue to lose in front of their home crowds, we'll take it. I mean, that we'll means. Take it. That means Nats will win. The Nats will win seven. That's <laughs> seven. It's a tall order, but they can do it. Exactly. President Trump was at tonight's game, so there was added security here. In fact, he was sitting in a box just below, uh, just behind home plate. He and the First Lady were joined this evening. Senator Lindsey Graham and Representative Steve Scalise were also in the box, along with some wounded warriors yeah. that joined the First uh, family as they were enjoying the baseball game. But again... They have left the park, and a lot of fans continue to stream out. Yeah, and of course, you know, security was stepped up at tonight's game because of the president's attendance, but many Nats fans say they didn't mind the long lines. They were just happy to be there because, remember, history is still being made Absolutely. here, okay? And Heather Graff continues our live team coverage with that part of the story. Hey, Heather. Hi, Robert and Jonathan. Secret Service was actually manning the security checkpoints at every single gate here at Nats Park. And as you mentioned, the president left about 10 minutes ago. But the fans we talked to, they didn't seem to mind the extra security. They were more focused on the Nationals, that last-minute pitching change, and, of course, more recently, the score. I need two lines, two lines. The increased security at Nats Park is something fans noticed right away. Of course, the president's going to be here. Of course there's going to be extra security. But the bomb-sniffing dog, Secret Service, and longer-than-usual lines didn't seem to bother them. Hey, it's, it's going to make us safe. Then if that's what it is, that's what it takes, I, I love it. But many in this crowd don't love is the news they heard as they filed slowly inside the ballpark. The news, the national star Max Scherzer is injured and wouldn't be pitching. Gut punch. Total gut punch. Ben Goodhue told us he's sticking with his Mad Max costume in Scherzer's honor. Supporting Mad Max, even though right now he's hurting out, but left too early to change. Still got to support. And for this all-important game five, he wasn't the only one who dressed up. I think there's a baby shark in all of us. And today we're going to take a chomp out of the Astros. It's what everyone is hoping for. Just get some runs. A World Series win for the first time.